Today we are making biscuit donuts. So for the main ingredients, what you're gonna need is some biscuits, some milk, and some powdered sugar. Now, depending on what flavors of biscuits you want, you're going to choose your toppings accordingly. So over here, I'm going to do a s'mores biscuit donut. So what we're gonna do is use graham crackers, some marshmallows, and some cocoa powder to make our icing. We're also gonna make Oreo um, donuts. So we're gonna use our cake batter flat flavoring. We're gonna use some Oreo, some cream cheese. And as you can see, I've already crushed up both of those toppings. And then we're gonna make our strawberry glaze with some sprinkles. So you're gonna need some red food coloring, some strawberry extract, and some sprinkles. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is uh, take our biscuits out of the can, of course, and we have to make them look like donuts. So what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and just take one of my soda caps, water caps, something, you can use whatever, that's a circular um, figure. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna try to center it as best as possible. You're gonna push down on it. Sometimes it comes out very smoothly and then there's other times where you have to kinda force it to come out. So you're going to kind of force it to come out and then you have a perfect donut hole. So we're gonna save these because you can always make the little donut holes that you fry by itself. And that's good for your kids or someone who doesn't want a full donut but they still wanna get the experience. So we're gonna work on all of these donuts or biscuits, shall I say. And I'll be back once I am done working on all of them. Okay, so we have our donuts. And I like to just make sure they're kind of fluffy and not flat. So I just kind of make them a little round. I just go back and just kind of tap them just a little bit smoothing out the holes in the middle. Presentation is key for me, so I just like everything to look good. This is a great recipe. Father's Day is coming up. If your kids just wanna do something cute for their father, this is an easy way. You don't have to make the dough. Of course, making your own donut dough would be the best, but this is quick and easy, and I like to show affordable, easy options. So, I have all the donuts the way I want them. We're gonna head over to the stove so we can get, go ahead and start frying them. All right, so we're at the stove. I have my heat on medium heat. I'm gonna go ahead and just place my donuts into the pan. And they should rise to the top immediately. You don't want to overcrowd your pan, so I'm just gonna place about four. I have eight donuts total. So I'm gonna end up doing two batches of donuts and then one full batch of the donut holes. So we're gonna let these cook for about two minutes on each side and we'll get to flipping them. Probably not even two minutes. We're gonna just check for color. So as you can see, they've, wrote, they've risen to the top and it's getting brown color around the edges. You don't want them to start touching. So just make sure you're watching it. You don't have to leave the stove. And we're gonna go ahead and just let these brown on one side and then we're gonna flip them. So let's go. So we have our donuts. We have them on a cooling rack so that we can ice them. So while they're cooling, we're gonna start working on our three different flavors of icing that we're gonna do. So the first glaze that we're gonna work on is our chocolate glaze. So what we're gonna do is take a half a cup of powdered sugar, and this is my sifter right here, 
And the reason why you want to sift your powdered sugar is because you don't want a lot of chunks in it. So I'm just going to add it to my sifter. And I'm just going to go through it until it's all sifted into the bowl. Just got to knock it down some. We're almost there. All right, so we have that sifted into the bowl. And then what we're gonna do is take a, a one tea, teaspoon of cocoa powder and sift that into the bowl as well. So I have my teaspoon. Just gonna throw that into the sifter. And I'm gonna sift that. Making sure we're getting everything in there. All right, that's what we need. And now we're gonna take one tablespoon of milk throw that in there and we're going to do one teaspoon of your flavoring so a lot of people use vanilla extract I'm using cake batter flavoring because I just think it gives it a better taste it's so good so I'm pouring that in there and we're going to pour that into the bowl and then we're going to mix it until it's well combined. All right, so we have our chocolate glaze stirred up for our s'mores donuts. So now we're gonna go ahead and decorate our s'mores donut. Okay, so the first thing what we're gonna do is take our donut and we're gonna dip it right into the chocolate glaze. Swirling it around. And it's really just about the top of the donut. You don't wanna get it all over the donut. And we're just gonna swirl that around, bring the graham cracker crumbs over. And I'm going to take my graham cracker crumbs and just sprinkle a little bit on top. Making sure you can still see the chocolate. I'm going to set it down and I'm going to do the other one. Again, we're just spinning it around in the glaze. Bringing it back up. Taking your graham cracker crumbs. Sprinkling it on top, like so. Setting that to the side. Then what we're gonna do is take our marshmallows and we're gonna selectively place them on the donut. Like that. And it should look like that. And let me go ahead and do the second one. And there we have it. We have our s'mores donuts. Now, let's start working on our strawberry donut. Okay, so I have already sifted one cup of powdered sugar. We are going to do three tablespoons of milk. It's one, two, three. And then we're gonna do three teaspoons of strawberry flavoring. I'm using strawberry extract from McCormick, three teaspoons. There we 
we go. And for the color of the strawberry, we want like a pinkish color. So you're gonna use a little bit of red food coloring. And we're gonna mix it and we're gonna see what the color is like once we mix it. And then that'll determine if we wanna do some more. Okay, so now that we have our strawberry icing done, we're gonna go ahead and dip our donuts in there. And I'm just gonna make sure you can see it. I'm just gonna swirl, 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 swirl. I'm just gonna gently pick it up, flip it over, and I'm gonna set it down. And I'm gonna do the second one. Here we go, move the bowl out the way. Set it up nice and neat. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some sprinkles on top. Because it makes it look pretty. I'll let you guys see it once I'm done. This is such an easy recipe. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Comment down below if you're enjoying this. All right, so that is how the finished product is. Let's go ahead and get started on our Oreos. Okay, so for our Oreo frosting, we are going to use four ounces of softened cream cheese. I have one cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna go ahead and stiff that in there as well. So let's get that complete. All right, so we have that sifted. Now what we're gonna do is take a tablespoon, well, two tablespoons actually of milk. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of either vanilla extract or you can use the cake batter extract like me. And you're gonna put that in there as well. And now we're going to mix. So first I All right, so it's all smooth out now we're gonna decorate our donuts of course so again it's all about the dipping process got my cake batter and I got my donut and I'm just gonna dip it inside I'm gonna put it down giving it a swirl and I'm gonna just bring it up set it to the side do my second one do as many as you like, guys. As many as you like. Set it aside. Now I'm going in with my Oreo pieces. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. Doesn't have to be in no type of form or fashion. And there we have it. So we're gonna plate these donuts up and I will show you the finished product of all three. And we are all done, guys! So we have our s'mores donut, we have our strawberry glaze, and of course we have our Oreo cake batter donut. These are so yummy, I think your kids will love it. Or just if you wanna do something special, go ahead and do this recipe. Super easy, takes about 10 minutes and you are done. So. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bona Petite.